Saram children. Fourth standard in EVS. The first lesson is the animal kingdom. One second, I repeat. The animal kingdom. Land animal, water animals, land water animals, birds. insects human beings we all are comes under animal kingdom animal kingdom means not only animals animals birds insects we are human beings we are also comes under animal kingdom we are human beings also animals but we are higher animal in this lesson we learn about animal kingdom first we learn about the similarities between animals and human beings what is the meaning similarities similarities means same things we observed in both animals and human beings this is the picture of animals and this is the picture of human beings first we learn the similarities between animals and human beings animals and human beings are need food animals also need food human beings also need food so this is the similarity similarity means same thing animals and human beings are grow animals also grow human beings also grow animals and human beings are respire respire means breathing animals and human beings are reproduce reproduce means give birth to young ones animals also give birth to their young ones and then also human beings also give birth to young ones so these are the similarities between animals and human beings in your textbooks in first page they are asking write three similarities between animals and human beings so you should learn the similarities here and with the help of pencil you complete in the textbook next we we'll learn about differences between human beings and cow here they are particularly they are asking cow what is the difference between human beings and cow in the next page they are asking write the difference between i and cow i means human beings and cow what is the main difference first one human beings human beings are omnivorous we already learnt about this in third standard omnivorous means we are eating both plant products and animal products but cows are herbivorous they are eating only plant products so cows are herbivores humans are omnivores and we have two legs animals have four legs and we don't have horns horns means see here in the cow this is horns animals have horns so animals have horns human beings we don't have horns human beings they does not have a tail animals have tail see here animals have tail and human beings we can talk but animals can't talk they are just make sound so human beings can talk animals cannot talk so these are the differences we are identified in human beings and cow and then also we can give more differences 
but now i mentioned five differences so with the help of pencil you complete these differences in the textbooks also next we learn about types of animals and their homes where do animals live some animals live on land and some animals are lives in water and some animals are lives on trees first we learn about terrestrial animals what is the meaning terrestrial animals animals can only live on land they are called terrestrial animals they are also called land animals in third standard we learned land animals water animals land water animals but now we are in fourth standard so we should use the words terrestrial animals aquatic animals amphibians we have to use examples for terrestrial animals are lion elephant horse deer cow we can give more example for terrestrial animals terrestrial animals means animals can only live on land next we learn about aquatic animals aquatic means animals can live only in water they are called aquatic animals examples for aquatic animals are blue whale fishes dolphin octopus starfish sea horse etc next animals that can live on both land and water animals that can live both land and water they are called amphibians amphibians means they live in both water and land example for these amphibians are frog crocodile tortoise etc arboreal animals animals live on trees animals live on trees they are called arboreal animals example for arboreal animals are monkey squirrel birds they are example for arboreal animals animals need home yes animals need home to protect from sun's heat cold rain and protect them from enemies so animals also need home lion and tiger lion and tiger they lives in cave observe the picture this is cave lion and tiger lives in caves rabbits and rats dig the ground and make their home see in the picture they are dig the ground and make a hole this is called a burrow rabbit lives in burrow and rats are lives in holes this is tree hole this is tree hole and a birds like owl and some birds and squirrel they are lives in this tree hole home made up of shells this is nail this is nail it always it always carry their home made up of shells with them because to protect from enemies see in the picture this is snail it always carry their home with with them because to protect from enemies this is made up of shells 
hives. Honey bees live in hives. Spider lives in web. Like this cow lives in shed, dog lives in kennel, horse lives in stable, hen lives in coop, etc. This is one of the activity is given in the textbook. Complete the following table. First one, name of the animals. They are given many animals name. Like cow, fish, crane. Like this way they are given some animals name. In the next column they are given size. Whether the size is big or small we should mention. Then color. Color of the animals. Food. The next, here we should fill the food. Next is dwelling. Dwelling means shelter. Where the animals sleep. We should mention here. For example, I show you cow. Size is big. Color white or black. Food grass. Dwelling shed. It lives in cow lives in shed. Another one example fish. Size small. Color orange or golden. Food insects. And dwelling water. Now I am given two examples to you. Today's assignment is you should try to complete this table in the textbook. Use pencil and complete this activity. Understood children? Sairam.